Hey you guys, welcome back. Today's video is another DIY for Mother's Day. It's a chocolate wine rose bottle. Please make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe. And let's get started with this wonderful, affordable Mother's Day gift. Okay guys, so I'm just showing you what I use for this look. And I use some roses that I got from Amazon. I had left over. I have my chocolate. Um, I'm showing you guys my um, wine of choice that I use. When you um, want to select a wine bottle, just get your mom or aunt, whoever you're creating this for, their favorite wine. Um, and their favorite chocolate as well. You can use any type of roses, um, flowers or whatever. You can go to the dollar store. I just had extra... Um, for my last DIY, this is why I have um, the roses from Amazon. And um, I'm really showing you guys the wine bottle. <laughs> but, um, and yes, this is the chocolate that I use. Uh, this is my favorite, 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 favorite chocolate. And um, I'm also showing you the roses. Um, I cut the stems um, just to make it shorter. So I'm showing you right here how I cut it and how it looks. Okay, guys, so here I'm just showing you the craft ball. Um, I just cut it out. I didn't make a, a circle. So if you want that per perfect circle, I recommend just drawing it out and then cutting it out. And then I'm showing you the glitter sheet that I'm going to wrap the wine bottle in. I got both these items at Michael's, so you can just run to the store and get it. Um, it's affordable. I think the glitter sheet, glitter sheet was like $11 and the craft ball was like $6. Okay guys, so here I'm just showing you the glitter um, sheet. Now I love this because it was just one whole sheet. All I had to do as I show you in the video is just peel it, peel the sticker off and wrap the glitter sheet with the wine bottle and it was great. Now some people may want to um, go to the dollar store and buy the, the rhinestones yourself and put it around the wine bottle. But I found that this um, was affordable, $11.99. And also it's just less time consuming instead of me just, you know, taking rhinestones and doing it myself. As you see here, I'm just... I'm taking a sheet, I lay it down on the table, make sure I position it right, um, and then I just take the wine bottle and I roll the wine bottle and the glitter sheet together until, um, you know, it was done. So look how I did that. Easy, one, two, three. And guys, one thing I noticed is I love glitter. I love anything shiny. I look how look how that is just looking. I love anything shiny, anything glitter. It just catches my eye. I think it catches anyone's eye. And it just looks so chic and great. So I'm just showing you. Um, and I could have went a little bit more higher because we know it's at the bottom. It had a little extra space, but it still came out great. Um, it was extra material hang it down a little bit but I think it still came out great and so yeah I'm just showing you guys um how it looked I showed you the back I showed you the front and I also flipped the bottle um to show you as well how it looks so it's not going anywhere this um it's still on it's a great sticky and it was good Okay guys, so now I just grab my craft ball and I'm just taking the roses and placing them where I want them to be on top of the ball. And I'm just pushing it through um, of how far that I want it. I just pushed mine all the way through because it still was, it's a big rose and it still got height to it. So I just push it all the way down. Um, you can use anything. You can use roses, you can use flowers, um, you can even use whoever you're making this for, uh, get the color, their favorite color. Um, so you just see me um, trying to figure out, you know, the placement of it. Like I said, when I made this video, um, making this video, I didn't have, you know, a vision. I'm really freestyling, so I'm just trying to just play with it. So guys, play with it. You know, you can take the roses out, the flower, um, position them again where you want them to be. Um, you know, just keep on, you know, doing it until you like how the, the look is. So this is what you see me doing. I'm just, you know, looking at it, seeing if I like it or not. And it's coming out great.
Okay guys, so now as you see, I placed the first set of roses on the craft ball. So now um, what you see me doing here is at first I took uh, toothpicks and I cut them and I was pushing them through the chocolate and um, then placing the chocolate on the craft ball with the toothpick. But that was just becoming too hard, um, trying to push it in um, with the toothpick through the chocolate. And then it was just falling off. It wasn't staying on. So um, you're going to see me. I quickly put out my glue gun and I just glued the chocolate on there. But I was just trying to figure out, you know, um, again, I'm kind of like just freestyling, seeing where I want to place the chocolate. And so you're going to start seeing me um, placing them straight down alongside with the other roses. It, and it was beautiful. I did that on both sides. But I took the glue gun and just uh, glued the, the chocolate on there. So um, nothing happened to the chocolate. The chocolate is still good. Um, it's covered up. And so, yeah, you see me doing that. Okay guys, so now I got the chocolate on both sides. It's looking good, it's looking great. So now I'm just gonna take the remainder of my roses and place them um, where I want them to be on the craft ball. Like I said before, I you know didn't have enough roses. I had enough, but you know, I could have probably used a five more because you know you don't want to see any space. So um throughout the video, you're gonna see what I did to try to cover up some of the spacing. But um, here you just see me now just taking the remainder of the roses and place them on the craft ball. And I think it, it just, it's starting to look good, guys. It's starting to look good. Um, like, again, this, is, this could be a great Mother's Day gift. Instead of something different, too. Instead of just giving roses, um, you can just make it yourself. You know, get her favorite bottle of wine. Get her uh, favorite chocolate. Um, and if she likes white roses, yellow roses, whatever color, her favorite color, you can, you know, um, get the roses of, of that as well. But yeah, so throughout the remainder of the video now, just stay tuned and you will see um, the finished product of uh, when I place all the roses on the craft ball.
okay guys so here's the finished look i think it came out great it's different um it was easy to make you do see some spaces like i said if i had enough roses um i could have covered up those spaces but no worries towards the end of the video you're going to see what i did to try to cover up um as much space as possible but um, again, I think it came out great um, and it's different. I did put some glue um, inside the craft ball just to when I put it on top of the wine bottle, it's more sturdy. Um, also, you could put glue inside of it. It's going to be easy for the person that you're making this for, for them to pull it off and to open up their wine bottle. Or you can just make sure when you um, dig your uh, the hole underneath the craft ball, you just dig it deep enough so it can be sturdy on top of the wine bottle so guys look at this this is the finished product i think it came out great you do see some spaces like i said if i had enough roses i could have covered it up but towards the end you're going to see what i did to try to cover up the space as much as possible um so when you're making this just make sure you have enough roses or flowers whatever you're going to use or you can also just get a smaller craft ball um to put on top of there as well but it's looking like a rose lamp to me. Don't it look like a rose lamp, guys? I think this is just a perfect gift um, for your special one on Mother's Day. And also, um, it would be a surprise to them because who would who would think that it's actually a wine bottle? Um, so I think it came out. Guys, one thing about me is I'm going to sell whatever I make. Okay, I'm letting y'all know I think it came out great. Somebody count how many times I said, I think it came out great. And I'm letting y'all know over and over about the spacing. I'm sorry, guys. But <laughs> yeah, I just, I was like, oh my God, Brianna, be quiet. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I had some leftover uh, a glitter sheet that I did for my last DIY. So I just um, took the glitter sheet and I looked through where there's a lot of gap. And I just took my glue gun and I took the glitter sheet and I glued it on the craft ball just to try to cover up as much gap um, that I see there. So that's what you see me doing. I'm trying to play around with it, see what I want to do with the piece that's hanging down. Down, but um, you will see me um, come up with an idea with that but yeah so I'm just taking it and I'm just um, finding where there's a bit too much of a gap for me and I'm gluing it down and I'm just taking a um, glitter sheet and place it on the craft ball so yeah guys this is the finished look i think it came out so wonderful it's starting to look like a table centerpiece if you ask me um this is a wonderful um mother's day gift um you're going to see me with the pieces that's hanging down i just took it and i wrapped it around the craft ball i'm not that good at making a, a nice bow so i just wrapped it around i did what works for me so you can do whatever you want but um and here i show you a close-up of it it came out great so if you like this video guys please give it a thumbs up make sure you like you share you comment down below you tell a friend to tell a friend and you please subscribe to my channel and until next time only good vibes and live your life and happy mother's day